That's how crazy it gets here, folks. Jeff, so good to be here. Molly, hi, guys. How's that? Can you hear me? Am I doing okay? We sound okay now? It's perfect. People be yeah. like, yeah, now you're really loud, you know? And, that's well, and I think, oh, and that's the thing you and I always talk about is that we have the loudest voices ever. And I do. So it's great it's because I have a message. Because I have a message and it's all for you folks. Hey, thanks so much for having me out here today. I know we lost uh, a couple minutes trying to get through all that, but you know, I just got back from a very big, very key video marketing conference called Vid Summit. And this is where all the biggest video marketers and video makers gather together to talk about what's been working and how to move forward with their video marketing strategy. I delivered a presentation there that absolutely, literally knocked socks off. One guy, I found him, his socks were trying to take off and he had to duct tape them back onto his legs. So, um, you know, I wanted to share some of, some of those tips with you guys. Is that okay? Would that be cool? Well, that's what I want to do here today. But but first, before we do that, hi, everybody. I'm Owen Video, and you can check me out at thevideospot.net. That's where I blog. You can also check out my content on YouTube. Just search for Owen Video. Hey, let me know, guys. What is your biggest live streaming goal? I would love to know. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. You know, are you looking to just get 100 people on? Are you looking to sell product? Uh, or do you just love to do comedy maybe and you want to use live streaming? I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. I see Melissa is out there. I see Donna is out there and Troy. Troy says, cool. Hey, you have no idea how cool I can be, baby. <laughs> So Air 5 to you, uh, I want to talk to you guys about how to repurpose your BeLive stream for YouTube, for iTunes, and for Instagram. And this is a strategy that I teach my clients. This is a strategy that I'm actively doing myself. And I want to, I want to share with you guys, uh, we just hit 1,000 downloads a month on our podcast. This is a brand new podcast, guys. It's a brand new podcast. And we were able to do that by streaming live onto BeLive, repurposing that BeLive audio onto YouTube and then onto iTunes, taking snippets and putting it onto Twitter and then taking other snippets and putting it onto Instagram. And I want to walk you guys through that process. Is it cool if I jump into that? If you're down to hear what I have to say, uh, go ahead and put yeah, yeah in the comment section below. Put yes in the comment section below. A thumbs up. Let me know that you're alive, guys. It's 6.30 out here where I am. It's 9.30 where you are. I just finished a live stream on YouTube, and now I'm here live streaming with you, and I came to play, baby. I came to play. So let's talk about it. Now, the title of this is how to repost your videos in a non-crappy way. Uh, however, uh, you know, that is own, uh, isn't always appropriate at, uh, at, at the guest con at the conferences. So we want to talk about cross-platform optimization and repurposing. And let's talk a little bit about what these terms mean. Ava, Robert, doing it with Jason, Melissa are all saying, yeah, yeah. Tim Longwell, good to see you guys. Air 5 to you guys. I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk about what cross-platform means. Cross-platform means using the same piece of content on different social media platforms. I think we're probably familiar with this term. Repurposing, however, means using the same piece of content in different ways. So when, when we're going through this, we wanna talk about uh, you know repurposing and uh, 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 the cross-platform side to that. Now, what we're gonna talk about here is, is going live with BeLive.TV, okay? And then repurposing that for YouTube in a way that's appropriate for YouTube. And then repurposing that onto iTunes and then onto Twitter and then onto Instagram. But before you do any of that, there are two things that you have to remember. Number one is you have to respect the platform. Can you guys write that in the comment section for me? Let me know you're with, you're with me there. You have to respect the platform. Okay. Rule number one. Rule, rule number one and a half is shut the door so your four-year-old doesn't come in here screaming. Uh, you've got to repurpose 
You've got to publish content on the platform that is consistent with how viewers engage on the platform. Here's an example. You guys all know Square videos, right? Square videos, they take up a lot of room on your phone. Well, guess what? YouTube is not a Square video platform. It's a side to side, so it's wide platform, okay? So you don't want to upload Square videos on to YouTube. Similarly, you don't want to just take your BeLive and schlep it up on different platforms. It's inappropriate. Donna G. Harris, you nailed it. Robert Myers, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what you, Robert, mean to me. You're absolutely right. And Tazvir, Rehan, good to see you. I saw your friend request. You've earned the ad. I'm doing it. So number one is respect the platform. Number two is be intentional, okay? Be intentional. This will change your world. Before you start producing content for repurposing, you have to have a plan for how that content will be repurposed and where it will be repurposed. So again, this goes back to you don't just take your BeLive and schlep it, right? You've got to think, okay, I'm going to take this section of it and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take this section of it and put it there. So let's talk about how I do that. First off, for every one of my live streams, I create what's called an ROS, also known as a run of show. This is like a broadcasting format, right? Uh, have you guys ever used an ROS? Put a yes or no in the comment section uh, if you know what I'm talking about. An ROS is an outline that clearly dictates what it is you're going to say and when you're going to say it. Now, I'm not talking about a script here. Hallelujah, right? Amen. I'm not talking about a script. What I'm talking about is a checklist, a bullet point system for knowing what you're going to say and when you're going to say it. Now, would you guys, do you guys want to hear my 12 step ROS? Because we're going to do it anyway. Uh, number, some guys like, no, I would never please stop talking. Oh, that's my dad. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Um, he has a drinking problem. So, number one is your hook. Open every video with a hook. And this is going to be one or, or two sentences that clearly tell your viewers what it is you're going to be covering, what the value is of that video. So if you go to the business of video podcast.com and check out the B live show that we do every Wednesday, you'll notice that the first thing I do is I'm looking directly at the camera and I say, on today's show, we're going to be talking about how you can rank your videos on YouTube. Stay tuned. It's the Business of Video podcast. And that brings us to step two, pause. Pause. Why? Because on YouTube, you're going to add a bumper, which is an animated logo. Maybe your logo kind of zooms in right? And then zooms back out again. We call that an animated logo bumper. You want to put a pause in your BeLive to leave room for that bumper when you download the video. Step three is your introduction. Now, your introduction should be the same every time. Uh, all of this, by the way, is happening within the first two minutes while your viewers are coming onto the platform, right? We all know it takes, you know, a couple of minutes to really get some some viewers. Uh, Jen Nelson logging in, good to see you. Donna Harris is saying a hook, that's right, Captain. Uh, you wanna have uh, this introduction for the replay viewers. I think of my live streams as being all about the replay viewers. You know, when your replay viewer logs into your video, here's what they don't wanna see. Hey, everybody, it's me. We're going to wait a few minutes till people log in. So cool. Okay. Okay. Right. I hate that. I hate that crap. Right. You need to kind of talk through this to get people into your show, engaged and sharing the show. So step one is a hook. Step two is pause. Step three is an introduction. Do the same introduction every single time. Step four is if you have a guest promote, oh, excuse me. Step four is welcome your live viewers. Be very intentional about the way that you welcome your live viewers. Uh, people do not like it when you're about to give them a big secret. Hey guys, the secret to life. I'm going to tell you it right now. Oh, but John just logged in. John, hey, oh, we went to high school together. It's good to see you. Okay. Here is the cure to cancer. Here's how you do it. Oh my gosh. Sandy is here. Sandy, it's so good to see you. 
people don't like that stuff. Okay. So have very intentional moments where you're um, saying hello and welcoming your live guests. We do this as step four. We say, okay, I'm going to say hey to Donna, Melissa, Molly, uh, Ross, Jeff, Joel. So good to see you guys here. We're glad that you're here. And then you're going to go into step five. Step five is your call to action. Uh, and this is your share action. So you're going to ask your viewers to share. Now, keep in mind, you might only have five people on the show at this point. You might only have two viewers, but it's all about who. Who is your live video for at the end of the day? Who can type it in there? I want to see it. I'm going to pause until I see it come in. That's right. It's for your re play viewers. I'm glad you guys are laughing because I'm kind of stressed out because the tech was weird, you know? And so I'm trying to give you all I got right now. Um, welcome your live guests and then invite people to share. You know what we do on our show? We say, hey, do you want it? We do this. We say, hey, I want to give Donna G. Harris a big shout out. Uh, Donna is the most amazing person in America. She has a YouTube channel. She has a business. Uh, and a massage parlor in downtown LA that we don't ever ask about. But we want to give her a huge shout out. Thank you for joining us today. And if you want to get a shout out on our next show, then share this video on your timeline right now. And our fantastic producer will pick one lucky sheriffire to sponsor next week's show. So we incentivize people to share. And I want to encourage you guys to do the same. Linda, John, Tim, Troy, you guys nailed it. Thanks so much for being attentive. Point number six is your radio drop. Now, I come from radio because I have a face for radio. So here's what a radio drop is. A radio drop says, uh, if you're just joining us, you're watching ABC. And today we're talking about XYZ. So again, this is all for you're, this is now for your live viewers. Hey, uh, with live stream video, people are logging in and they're logging out. Okay, don't be offended by it. Go with it. So this batch, once you get five minutes into your video, you got a whole new batch of viewers. And you want to engage them. Hey, if you're just joining us right now, you're listening to the Owen Video Show. And our guest today is Molly Mahoney. By the way, Molly was on our show and she was fantastic. We call that a radio drop. Step seven is your guest bio. Step seven is your guest bio, okay? And the reason that your guest bio is a big deal is because you're going to use this as you cross-platform uh, this stuff on your next video. Hey, and if you guys want to take a screenshot, check out what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get all crazy up on you. Look at that. Can you see that okay? So there's the first seven steps. Maybe it's maybe it's backwards. So again, another win for Owen Video today. Uh, that's the slides that I'm I'm using, and that might be helpful for you guys as you're you know wanting to create a PDF uh, sheet that that helps you keep these things uh, intact. Okay, uh, your guest uh, bio, guys. Don't read. Don't ever read a bio. Um, <laughs> just look at it. Um, don't ever read the guest bio. Pick three things. Our guest today is. Our guest today has, and our guest today will, right? Our guest today is a very famous live streamer. Our streamer, our guest today has been on radio shows all over the country, and our guest today is going to speak to you about X, Y, Z. Okay, so that's that's something that you want to do is your guest bio. Now, point number eight. Everybody, bring it in. Fake sponsors. Have a fake sponsor. Now, I don't, I don't mean, thank you, Jeff, Air 5, buddy. I don't mean like, you know, what I mean is this. Our show today is made possible by, blah, right? So I have a business. I'm a video marketing coach. I teach small business owners how to use video for their business. Our show today is brought to you by thevideospot.net, where business owners learn how to use YouTube and grow their business. We want to thank The Video Spot for sponsoring the show and hope you guys will go check them out. Now, here's what, here's what a, a sponsor segment does. It makes your show sound more professional. Okay, it makes your show sound more professional. And now you can send that to potential sponsors and they're going to hear that you're giving a shout out to your sponsors every week. It creates a sense of scarcity that says, well, hey, they've already got this other company sponsoring. I want a piece of that pie. 
It is going to be much easier for you guys to get sponsors for your show if you place sponsors into that segment. Are we out of time? We are wrapping up really quick because we're coming to the end of the day, and I think I'm frozen, so I might hop back and let you let Ross come up. So, Owen, wrap her up. Let it snow. We got to go. Okay, guys, um, here's, here's the gist of it. When you create this multiple joint, uh, multiple joint, multiple point checklist, what you're able to do now is grab segments out and put it on YouTube. You're able to grab right the, the main segment out and put that segment alone onto YouTube. You can take out just one question. Let's say you ask your guest five questions. You're going to write down the time at which you asked each of those questions so that you can re-edit the video, pull out one question, and upload it to Facebook as a, as a pre-recorded video. You can take that one question and upload it just to YouTube. Now, I'm sorry that we're out of time. I had a few more things that I wanted to go into today, but I want to leave you guys with a couple different takeaways. Number one, never, the, my, Linda, my website is thevideospot.net. You can check me out there. You can also check out my course at biztubeacademy.com. Here's the big thing. Be intentional. Never upload a Facebook video to YouTube, okay? <laughs> oh, it is sponsored by... Um, Take your questions out. Ask intentional questions. Every time you ask a question, note at what time you asked it so that you can download the video from Facebook, pull out the one question, and put it onto YouTube. And if you ask five questions, here's what you do. You take the introduction that you did at step three. You add it to the beginning of each question. And now you have up to five separate videos that you can upload to YouTube to have a great repurposing strategy. Thank you so much, BeLive, for having me. Jeff, Rachel, Molly, Ross, thank you guys. It's always a pleasure, and I love working with you.